My name is Katherine Tarpley. I'm a staff attorney at the Children's Law Center. We are a small, independent legal services organization that provides services to low-income children in and around Essex County. Legal services, uh, not just uh, here in Massachusetts, but across, across the, the board, um, are underfunded and understaffed. So law students that work with, uh, with the Children's Law Center and with me do everything that I do. <laughs> and we are grateful for the help. I'm Michaela Harvey. I'm a 2L at Harvard Law School, um, and I am an intern working with Catherine on the Medical Legal Partnership at MGH Chelsea. While I'm in the Lynn office, I'm doing a lot of client file reviews. We get their file from the school. And so a lot of times we'll go through that file and um, kind of identify any inconsistencies or things that may be missing um, that we need to follow up with them on or things that we feel like they're not living up to their legal obligation. So today we're meeting with a family that was referred to me through the Medical Legal Partnership. This family met their pediatrician for a regular visit and the family shared the difficulties that they were having with the student's individualized education program, its lack of services and lack of transportation. I try to advocate for my son myself. I got some of it through to them, but they were skipping a lot of it. You know, he needs one-on-one, -on -one. he needs time out because he has a lot of disabilities. Basically, they'll call me and tell me to pick him up and stuff like that. They weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing for him. It was kind of hard as a parent to keep on pursuing them because they didn't see nothing legal behind me, so they'll run me over. Part of the work that we do is teaching families what their rights are in regards to their child's special education. A lot of times in these cases, the schools aren't necessarily just willing to provide the services up front regardless of what the law says. And so as lawyers, a lot of times what we come in and do is making sure that the school is applying the law correctly to the situation. Giovanni has gotten the services that he needs um, thanks to Catherine and Michaela. And I really recommend them to anybody. Anybody that needs help for the kids, I recommend them to them. What I was looking at is what did the child lose out on when these rights were violated? How can we make them whole and what do those translate into actual services that the school could provide? It was a chance to be really creative and think outside the box and come up with ways that would not only help the child but could be used for other cases in the future in the same situation.